All right, Dylan, what are we doing? Well, I'm going to give you a tour of what my, uh, my setup is like. So come out to the garage. Wait a minute, I know that creature. Caesar. he's eating around here like he owns the place, dude. So coming out to the garage here, um, as you can see, you're greeted by a white beast in the night. This is my E92 M3 video, taking a closer look coming soon. This is my dad's four car garage. Um, we keep three cars in here. We keep my M3, his race car, and his champ car race car, which has been replaced by my Miata. Find out, find out why that's on jack stands in a future video. This is pretty much where all the magic happens. Our champ car team operates literally out of this one spot right here. My dad does everything to the car right here. I mean, we don't have a lift or anything to change like, you know, transmissions or engine swaps or anything. We got a Miata transmission just laying there. Got our toolbox. This plate right here is actually really special. This is the license plate that was on my dad's FB RX-7 back in 1985. And I actually paid homage to him because I have the exact same plate on my on my FC. So this is the garage, you know, nothing really special. It's just your run of the mill barbaric, you know, grassroots racer garage. But let's go in the backyard and take a look at what's going on there because there's a lot more interesting stuff. Welcome to my backyard. Uh, we got a really dirty above ground pool right there. It's a, it's a pretty nice place. It's a one acre lot. What you don't see is that this actually used to be filled with a bunch of trees. It, it was pretty cluttered with trees. And so it made maneuvering a little bit difficult. And so we actually had them all tore down. And that's why it's so barren out here. The left side trailer, that is my dad's friend Dave's trailer. He has a, a blue FBR7 SCCA race car in there. That's pretty badass. The trailer over there, that's our friend Dr. Ken's. He has an FC uh, race car in that one. My dad uses this space to store other people's shit. Not only our shit, other people's shit. Right there, we got a parts car, Turbo 2 FC car. I've stolen multiple parts from there, including the seats that are in my FC. Um, we got a Miata that's rotting away. That's for our parts car, for our champ car. Coming over here, you got this really big tent area. This is where I keep, uh, I keep, you know, my shit boxes. That's my protege, that was my first car. Um, and under the tarp there, that's my dad's E36 M3 that is pristine. 246,000 miles on the same clutch on that car. Uh, can't wait to show that car to you guys sooner in the future. What's going on with this, this rope? Oh yeah, oh yeah, the, the stakes on the floor. So, you know, that's, that's a little big thing. So what you see marked out, or kind of marked out, is um, this is actually gonna be our shop. We are quickly trying to build a, um, a pretty nice three car garage shop in here with two lifts, um, a double story. We're like trying to maybe convert it to a little bit of an apartment back here for, you know, I don't know, maybe uh, for Austin when he decides to come live with me. I don't know. Um, <laughs> this is a 50 by 40, so it's 2000 square feet. This is about the largest size you can have as an addition to your house. Just try to imagine like like right here is a bay. Then over here we got a bay, over there we got a bay. We have two lifts right here. We have rolling like uh, tool sets that roll around the cars and stuff. We have car storage back here. We have an office right here with driving and racing sims and like just really cool stuff. That's that's what we're trying to go for with this shop. COVID, COVID happened. Things take time. Um, things take a lot of money. We just haven't we haven't had a lot of progress made on it yet. But we're trying. You know that's that's what this channel is going to be all about. Is about the progression into this motorsport. This is just the beginning. Yeah. This is just the beginning. Um, so stay tuned to follow my journey as I try and build this shop, try and get more race cars, try and go into motorsport the way I feel that I can. That's pretty much all I got for you guys. However, however, I will tell you that the next door neighbors have expressed uh, interest in me actually buying their house. So that might be a future video. So stay tuned for that. I mean, I don't know if that's really going to happen, but if it does, just try to imagine the sheer amount of like space that we would have to do whatever we want. Ultimately, make our own little two house compound. 
That's that's what my dream is. I want to buy that house right right next to my dad's house and combine it and make a two acre compound. It, it would be extremely badass in my opinion. But if you guys are interested in seeing that, leave a like and subscribe and uh, you know just show just any support, any any follow and any support helps me sort of try and attain this dream. So yeah guys, that's been uh, that's been my backyard. That's been the tour. Um, you know, I hope to take you guys on a journey uh, throughout the rest of my life of me expanding into some sort of compound with with amazing capabilities. And I want to take you guys on that journey with me. So thank you very much. Like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love.